Hi everybody, it's Steph. Welcome back to my home. I'm so happy you're here. We have lots to talk about. I want to address something that I've seen float around quite a bit in the trans community, and that is self-loathing. And I know I've done lots of videos about confidence and about loving yourself, but this is a little bit different because I want to address a specific statement. I want to address the statement, I hate being trans. I'm not necessarily referring to physical self-hate or dysphoria or things like that, but a hatred of our experiences. It's, it's like a wish to be cis, a wish to be cisgender. If it was as simple as just hitting a switch and becoming a cis woman, then this wish would be well-founded and totally reasonable. However, that's not how it works. We as trans people are of course very similar to our cis counterparts. We're, like, you can say all the, you know, we're, we're all people, all these other things, all the things you want to throw out there. But the reality is we do not experience the same things and our lives are vastly different. We do have similar dreams, aspirations, wants and needs, but we are not the same and we will never be the same. And honestly, why would we want to be the same? Cisgender people of course have many privileges not available to trans people just by principle of the way our society functions. But instead of focusing on what we do not have, I like to focus, and this is part of why why I can remain happy every day, is I like to focus on the things that being trans gives me. Being trans has taught me things that I would have never learned as a cis person, at least not in the same way. I've learned to love myself for who I am because at my darkest that's just what I had to do. Even before I knew I was trans, I just had to I just had to have that thought in my head, like this is what I have, this is what I have to love. I've learned to build defenses against people that attack me verbally to the point where their words cannot hurt me anymore and it's shifted from a fight of how to defend myself to how to defend other people. I've learned to channel my feelings about being trans and my trans experience into a constructive experience and constructive thoughts that help me creatively. And creative thoughts related to the trans experience are things that cisgender people just do not have and it's a very powerful creativity. So for me personally, I don't want to get to a point where I just pretend that I'm not trans. I don't want to get to a point where I'm so passing that I don't have to address it anymore because that's not what I like. That's not the fight that I'm fighting. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm never going to lie to a person and say I'm cisgender. I'm not gonna let them think that. I'm not gonna go up to a person I meet and the first thing I say is, hi, I'm trans. That's not how this, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm not going to let people believe that I am cisgender because I feel that it's a good thing to be trans. Why would I want to discard all of that character building and all of the, the struggle and inspiration that I've gotten from my own difficulty? Because if I never had those difficulties, I would be a very different person and a very, a much more apathetic person, I think. Yeah, it's been difficult and so many other trans women face things way harder than I do. But let's try to think of it this way. Fellow youth, fellow millennial youth, fellow whoever, you know what, doesn't have to be youth, doesn't have to be youth. You can be like 50 and start to transition and you know what, this still applies to you, okay? So let's try to think of it this way. We are gifted enough to be in the generation of trans people and people that are transitioning to shake the foundations of the gender binary and to break things that have never been broken before. Throughout history we have been seen as jokes, as clowns, and as just objects and we are at a point where the people that are transitioning and, and the people that have transitioned, trans people today is what I should be saying, trans people today, we are seen as people for the first time. It's not that we don't have any more fighting to do, it's not that we have the rights we want, it's that we're being seen as people and finally starting to be taken seriously. And to me, being in that generation is massively amazing because there's a lot of fighting to be done, but in 20 and 30 years, people are gonna look back and be like, those people were kick ass. That is where we are. That is the reality in our world right now. And being the generation to have that shift is never an easy fight. The trans people that fought before us fought very hard for us to be able to be here and to continue fighting this fight. So I'm not going to just pretend that I'm not trans for the benefit of somebody else. Because really, that's not beneficial to me either to ignore who I am, to pretend it never happened. I love that. I love what history we do have, despite the, the thousands of years of history we've had erased. I love what part our people had in overturning unjust laws and questioning governments and just being rebellious. I love the art we produce. I love the stories we tell. I love that fire in our gut that tells us when something's wrong, what I like to call trans instinct. But really, I mean, most people probably have this, but. I like to call it trans instinct, okay? I love being trans. I have to love being trans because that's who I am. It's my only option. And trying to do something otherwise would be very harmful to myself. I will never be cis and that is okay because there is nothing wrong with being trans. I love it. And if you are any kind of trans, I hope you love it too. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you again very soon. And um, all that good stuff. If you are interested, I do have social media links in the description as well as my PO box, all that good stuff. Whatever you want will probably be down there. So like I said, until next time, I will see you all very soon. I love you so much. Bye.